Hold up. Did you have a particular reason for choosing Bramble? She had given so much compassion to the world, it was time to give some back to her. But the Hobblepots could have whipped up a potion to take all those rock bottoms out. Would you mind calling for a guard to carry her off to bed? But, Grandfather, I'd like to hear more. Um, which part did you like the best? The mischievous goblins, or the interrupting boy who wanted to tell a different story? Oh, um, I was enjoying the goblins. Absolutely, I, I was. I, I just wanted to show you that I could... I think it's best to call it a night. The storm has calmed down, and so has she. But, Grandfather, I... Gart! I just wanted to... This is not a time for debating. Go to bed. We can continue in the morning. As you wish. C good night. Guard, wait. Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to snap. These elixirs have my nerves on edge. It's okay, Grandfather. And thank you. I do still have a lot to learn from your stories. Sweet dreams, Guard. Sleep well. That I can do with my eyes closed. Ha <laughs> ha! Now you're learning. There. That's our ticket out. Not sure I like this idea. I'll go ahead. Stay back. I wasn't sure if I could get her across, but she needed to believe I could. Your Majesty. Quick, in my 
cape. <gasps> no time to explain. Nightmares come in many forms. Once you realize what you are actually afraid of, you can start to deal with the fear. Figured after that scream, you'd be back. Let's pick up our story once again. I wasn't actually afraid of dragons. I was still struggling with the loss of a chakra. Now, my decisions meant the life or death of a kingdom. That's the true beast I needed to wrestle with. I didn't need to wear his crown to be a great king. My old hat suited me just fine, and Daventry was ready for a new adventure. Just like the one you're imagining, there was a beautiful castle that stood high on a hill. All were welcome here. Well, everyone except for the pests. The townspeople cried out to their king, We must be rid of these rats! They're scaring our children and stealing our cheese! One even ate a baby! the town had become very unpleasant indeed. Every morning, gold coins clanged through the water well carrying wishes for a better town, but the rats remained. The king, in his finite wisdom, had also been casting wishes for he desperately needed a plan. As wishes would have it, a wandering piper appeared at the castle gates. The piper offered to expel the rats from the kingdom if the town would overthrow their moronic liege. Hear, hear, they cried out. Our throne is but a seat for a hat rack. Rid us of these pests, and the throne is where you'll rest. The stranger pulled out a small flute 
and played a pleasing melody. The music summoned the rats out of hiding, and they danced on the head of the king. The king shrieked a high-pitched squeal, but the piper continued his song. The rats were led back to the wooded forest where they belonged. The piper returned to the castle to claim his reward, but his knock echoed throughout the halls, and no one let him in. He raised his pipe, and a new melody was played. He watched the drawbridge lower, and a mesmerized kingdom pranced to his side. With a few simple notes and a turn on the heel, the stranger led them from the castle to the deep, dark caverns below. The throne is now empty, and the well doesn't clang anymore. Manny knew exactly what to write to incite the horde. He chose every word carefully, fully knowing how the goblins would react to his story. Oh, it was brilliant. They did all the dirty work, and he just sat back and watched. I thought I had bested him in the duel of wits, but the mind and games were just beginning. <gasps> ever come true? Of course, but real monsters are far easier to deal with than imaginary ones. Ugh. Goblins ruin everything. <laughs> 